Hey guys, I've got a 03 F250. Uh, I've been searching on YouTube and couldn't find any videos on exactly how much you got to cut off to run a 05 to 7 grill on our 99 to 03 pickups. My truck's actually an 03 and I ordered this grill. It's a 07 excursion grill, but F250, 350, they're all the same. So, But I just wanted to give you kind of an idea how much to cut off of it because I couldn't find any videos that give you any kind of exact measurements or anything to go with so all I had was a picture of one all already installed on the truck to go off of and uh, I thought this video might help you all out a little bit but uh, right here at the bottom sorry about the video y'all I'm trying to do it all at once but I don't know if you can see that real good right to the lip there I ended up with three-eighths of an inch. Maybe this thing will focus in a little bit. There it is right there, three-eighths. And that three-eighths is to this flat. From the bottom to that flat, not where it rolls in toward the grill up there. That's three-eighths from there to the flat. You end up cutting off a lot more than I thought because I had read some forms on it and uh, they said a half inch, three quarters, but I ended up cutting all that off to get mine to work out and fit good. And this is also hard to get a measurement on because it rolls and then it slopes outward. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but uh, I'm not even going to try to measure that because... It's just easier if you get your measurement right here from this flat and do your three eighths right there. And uh, when you get to your side pieces, I just brought that line straight on and across. And again, all I had to go was a picture to go off of to start with. That's why I'm making this video. But uh, this is what I ended up with. And I cut this straight across here and ended up actually having to trim them again. That's actually that side. But uh, I just cut that off and then trimmed the side piece as I needed. Just kind of stick it up on the truck and see what you got to do. But that's what I ended up with. And uh, after doing it, I actually could have left a little bit more in here and kind of rounded it a little bit but it still fit the truck really well so I was happy with it and uh, it was no problem cutting the front I just cut it with a Dremel and some of these discs right here these are some of the tools I use just some clines uh, a straight cutting tool and some dikes and of course a Dremel tool and after I cut it with the disc I just sand it down a little bit kind of smooth it out but the biggest problem was all the plastic behind it, getting all of that out. Flip this grill over where you can see it a little. Sorry about the video, y'all. I'm the professional photographer, video, whatever. But anyway. After you get that crumb cut off, you run into kind of a tough spot because right here these chrome tabs actually still hold that chrome on that you're cutting off and this is where I had to take through my initial cut there I had to take this just straight cutting saw and go and cut each one of these tabs off where you see I have a zip tie to get that uh, piece of that chrome that we initially cut off all the way off and then once you have that off then you can just see your plastic hanging out here and then you can just trim your plastic accordingly to where it's not going to hit your plastic on your front bumper there and when you cut all of that off you're you're doing away with what holds this mesh or honeycomb whatever they call it to your grill so everywhere that those chrome tabs were left on the grill I just drilled this hole straight through and stuck a wire tie through them and uh, that sort of refastens your honeycomb back to the grill itself. 
and that pretty well wound that up and then I'll show some pictures of how I did have to mount the bottom with some zip ties too because we actually cut off all of the fasteners that used to be here to clip it on so it's not going to clip on anymore and I had bent them out of the way while I was cutting them but it would have been something like that and, but I hope it helps y'all out and I'll post some pictures at the end to kind of show you the process while I was going through it and what it looks like on the truck when it's done so I appreciate y'all watching I hope this helps y'all out